To be living elemental is to be living a more balanced life. I'm your host, Sarah Ann, and the founder of Jade Scott Design. Through my interior design studio and feng shui practice, I awaken clients to the idea that their home is just as essential to their well-being as is to their mind and bodies. Essentially, nature's elements create balance and support, and through the lens of home, we can utilize their power when applied intentionally. Through this podcast, it is my intention to open you up to the idea that by living elemental through mind, body, and spirit will have a significant impact on your home and your life. We're going to dive into the earth element today, and I think the best word that describes the earth element is the word mothering. This energy is nurturing, it's grounded, it's centered. It is the energy of Mother Earth herself. And when she is perfectly balanced, both yin and yang energies have stabilized. And so there's this sense of completion. Seasonally speaking, this is the time of both spring and autumnal equinox. So the Earth's energy is at a perfect balance. We are between seasons. And so there's this pause before moving into the next. In her book, Missing Element, Hidden Strength, Tisha Morris describes the earth element as the pause between inhalation and exhalation. So if we don't give ourselves that time to pause and breathe and transition, we may start to feel out of balance as if we're running from one thing to the next or finishing one thing and quickly starting another. So we need this pause to perhaps reflect a bit and let the energy stabilize. This gift of pause is the element of earth. We typically think of dirt or soil when we think of earth, and so when we want to feel grounded, we may go out into nature, do some gardening, or even just walk barefoot on the ground. And if we can't, or we don't want to necessarily leave the house, which I don't advise for long periods of time, we can still create a sense of grounding inside our homes as well. Homes that are warm, inviting, cozy, these are all descriptors of a home that has a nice touch of the earth element. Even in terms of a particular room in your home that you enjoy being in after a long day at work or after dinner time, usually this is the living room or family room where there's this sense of togetherness, a sense of coziness. This is a great place to add some earth elements. And so what kind of elements can you add? The energy of earth is represented by a container. So if you think of a potted plant, the container itself holds the contents of soil and roots to maintain the structural support for the plant. Therefore, your house as a whole quite literally represents the earth element because it contains you and other occupants as well as objects and all the energy that is swirling about. So if you want to create that energy of coziness and groundedness, you can add earth elements to your space. Um, Some examples would be woven or wicker baskets, pottery, and any other containers made from clay material. Uh, For example, terracotta could be a great addition. Terracotta even brings in one of the colors associated to earth, uh, in addition to a neutral palette of warmer browns, creams, deep, rich yellows, and oranges. We see these elements in our homes through hard surfaces as well, such as clay, tile, and brick. And so homes literally are constructed using earth materials. The shape associated to earth is square or rectangular, and again, has an attribute of being grounded. So think in terms of how an area rug helps ground the space in a room. In addition, most of your heavier furniture pieces, such as tables, desks, beds, they all help ground a space because they typically are square or rectangular, and the four corners provide a sense of balance and support. So to wrap up this element, we stated earlier that earth brings a sense of stability, Again, both yin and yang energies are in perfect balance, which is typically what we're striving for. 
But it's important to remember that we can't stay in the comfort zone of Earth. We have to continue to move with the cycle. Just as children can't stay in the nurturing environment of their childhood home, they need to get out into the world and fully experience their life. In a sense, they're starting their own new cycle of life beyond childhood. And in the beginning of that experience, they may need to come home often because they might be craving that sense of stability and groundedness. Or maybe they love being independent and in their own space, but it's still important that they create a supportive environment for themselves as they start their new journey. So again, I just want to stress that even though the earth element has a representation of balance, it's moving through the entire cycle that allows for truest balance. And the next element in our cycle is metal. And metal represents the beginning of the yin phase when energy is preparing to constrict or go inward before entering back into the water phase for further introspection. So be sure to check out the last episode in our bonus series, The Metal Element. Your support of the Living Elemental podcast means so much to me. Thank you all for listening and following along. This outlet is becoming one of the best things I've ever done, and I want to continue to support you at home. So in celebration of our launch, I am doing a giveaway for three lucky winners who will each receive a home energy kit. Inside these kits will be a few tools you can use to uplift the energy of your home or office, really anywhere you need some increased positive chi or energy. In order to be entered into the drawing, you just need to rate and review this podcast, take a screenshot and email it to our team at jsd at jadescottdesign.com or you can just DM your screenshot at jadescottdesign on social. I will put all of those links in the show notes for you as well. We'll run this giveaway through the next few weeks, ending after the release of our bonus episodes where we talk about each element and their attributes and how they all support one another. I thought doing these episodes would be a great reference for you as we expand into the elements going further. So please remember to rate and review. We will announce three winners the week of February 6th and hopefully get those to you right before Valentine's Day. So just a small token from us for sharing the love. All of this and more can be found on our website at jadescottdesign.com. Until next time, stay well.